Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word, man? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Neighbor of Barnhurst, baby, man, the motherfucking people, the people you need to be logged in with, not them other people. You know the truth. For sure. Don't know who you got with you. My nigga Seti Nash. Seti Nash, one of the ones. I'm not styling my way. Don't play the visionaries. What up? What's going on with it? Oh, man. We in the West Side Rolling 60s. On her, on Slauson, the famous Slauson Avenue. And on her, we finna do it up. We gonna go around the hood and shit. We ain't gonna be like them other people. We ain't showing y'all every crack and crevice where we hang out and do all that. That's weird shit. But a nigga show y'all some, some shit in the hood. You know, keep it regular. Some good food spots on her. Somewhere to get fly at real quick. On her. Oh, some yeah. people you need to know when you come to the city and you need what you need. All kind of shit, man. On her. So as far as uh, you know where we at right now, you can let people know about the area, shit like that. Uh, right now we are, we are Shoe Millennium on Slauson and West. On hood, this is where nigga be coming to get. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going down La Brea to Rodeo or some shit like that on Melrose. We gonna come to Shoe Millennium and get dope real quick. Fuck what my nigga said. On hood. So you know, what type of uh, area is this? Like how would y'all describe it? Like would you say like this is a chill area? It's hot or like you know, what type uh, of shit be going on? It's for sure the trenches. It's like any other trenches in America, but you know what I'm saying it can be chill at times. It can it can be going up. It just it just depend on on six up what's going on, how the atmosphere like, what's the energy like in the city like. If it's up there right now, then shit on the hood. On the hood, he ain't lying. Crash is like gang unit. Gang unit probably if they get winded, like I'm in the hood and I'm trying to do something positive, or like if I'm in the hood, period. On hood, they gonna try to get up on a nigga, try to see what car I'm hopping out of, try to see if a nigga got a pistol around. Just, just shit to knock a nigga off, you know what I'm saying? His hater shit, police don't wanna see a nigga shine, they see a nigga got a little buzz and they wanna do whatever they can to stop that shit, but hopefully they don't pull up. We gonna pray they don't, cause I don't wanna get harassed on camera on hood. We ain't gonna speak them people into existence, but as far as the area, um, if it's up in the city, like on 6 if it's some gang shit going on, you know how, you know what I'm saying? If it's some gang shit going on and shit going on in the city, then on my mama, then the energy over here gonna be that. Niggas gonna be over here on alert. The niggas that do be around here, niggas gonna be on alert. Niggas gonna be, you know what I'm saying? They gonna adapt to the habitat. So as far as like overall though, it's chill. A lot of tourists come through and pay their respect to Nip and shit. We're gonna go down there in a minute, but a lot of tourists come, you feel me? Off and Nipsey Hustle Square show their respect to Big Bro and shit. And it's a lot of good, it's good food over here. It's a lot of landmarks over here other than just the 60s. But the 60s is what make this shit so popular, you feel me? Because it's a nice neighborhood, but it's a it's one of the most notorious, it's one of the home to the mo one of the most notorious gangs, you feel me? So you, up the hill, you got like Black Beverly Hills and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Lamert Park, all that shit around here, uh, Baldwin Hills, all that shit, like the little suburbs and shit where Back in the day, like Laker players, Clipper players, uh, athletes, uh, actors, actresses, they used to move up in the hills and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is the start of the hills though. Like this part of the section we in in the hood, this called the overhills. This like the start, you feel me? This still more trenches, but like, you know what I'm saying? We got parts in the hood that's like, you wouldn't believe, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like niggas stand right here and gang bang, but a nigga probably just on my mama. Some shit probably just happened right here, so. And the property value is up. <laughs> this old Barnhurst is large, just in the house, nigga. Nine thousand. We talking about in the hood, in the trenches, right there on the block, house for sale, nigga. Damn near a meal ticket. Yeah. You gotta think, niggas gonna have to eventually start owning this shit besides going on that other type of shit. We gotta own something. That's how you get your generational wealth these days. Buy a couple of houses when you die out, give it to your kids. Nigga, that's a quick meal right there. Just think about how much a house used to call, cost nigga back in the 80s and the 90s and shit. Homes like that, nigga, it's up everywhere. Well, it came up, all that shit the motherfucker had it back then. It was. Everybody think you gotta hit the whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It be real simple shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Start your shit. But we about to show you some black excellence on the real too. We ain't just a bunch of niggas that's throwing up hand signs and gang signs and all that shit. Niggas is on a whole nother level. So, shit, it is what it is. No doubt. That car wash right there uh, on Snowfall, you know the show Snowfall? Yeah. I don't know what episode or none of that shit like that, but on Hood, that whatever car wash they was at on Snowfall, that's the car wash right there on the Hood. 
Also, oh. Snowfall, that's based in like uh, LA. Yeah, that shit based on, I don't really watch that shit, but they said it's like, um, it's ba based off Freeway, Freeway Rick Ross. Not yeah. the rap nigga, but the drug dealer. I don't really know too much of Cuz's story, neither like that. I ain't gonna act like I do, but on 6 up Cuz about, I think Cuz out the Hoovers. Like, I don't know if he from there, but I know he, he a, from, yeah, he from, a, he from over I that way. I didn't know he was a member for real. He ain't, he just wanted to be down. He wanted to, but that's where that nigga, that's where he from. I don't know Cuz, I don't know Cuz politics, but yeah, Cuz from over there, that way, like Fig side and all that, but the car wash from off Snowfall right here, I don't, I don't know Freeway Rick Ross in the so, you know, earlier you had uh, stated like, you know, y'all hood basically like a tourist spot too. Like, you know, people be coming, visiting. Well, it's not a tourist could. spot, but you feel me? Nip had an impact so big that like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers willing to risk whatever come with our neighborhood just to come pay their respect to come. But how's I mean, that, how's that for, for y'all though? Like, you know, what the, shit, what the shit that be going on and shit like that. You know what? I said, how's that for y'all though? You know, with the shit that be going on in the streets, like, does it make them up those kind of paranoid, having people pulling up, not knowing, like. I mean, cause me, I'm trying to get some money. So when I see, see some tourists on the hood, I'm trying to, you feel me? <laughs> I'm trying to rub shoulders with the right tourists on hood. I ain't really, but as far as like the tourists that come through, cause nigga, ain't, nigga know the difference between a member and a tourist. So when we see tourists pull up, out of respect for big bro, nigga gonna get out their way and let them come with they, let them come do what they came for, take their pictures. You know what I'm saying? support some of the vendors that's down there or whatever if that's what they decide to do but on 6-0 like as far as like worrying about a nigga pulling up over here and doing something nigga rap but a nigga on deck too so a nigga ready for a nigga as far as for me I, I, i'm not speaking for like i'm not speaking for nobody else but as far as for me when i come outside i'm ready i'm i'm adapted to the habitat so a nigga ready for you feel me but as far as like tourists i ain't gonna say it's a bad place on hood come get you some come get you Shirt, get you some shoes. Come get you a. Come get you some memories on the hood. There's some memories over here. On the hood, come see, come visit some of the businesses Nipsey frequented. It's still a couple around here that places that Nipsey, you know what I'm saying, and got food, ate at, all kind of shit like that. But as far as worrying about a tourist pulling up, uh, we can tell the difference. We don't be. We, yeah. Nigga don't even want to be on a tourist car too hard because we want to make him feel welcome to come over here and shit. So a nigga know the difference. We see the we, a nigga can read energy if he really out the trenches type yeah. shit. Yeah, Wide-eyed ass niggas and shit, all that shit. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask yeah. like, you know, a lot of people they be knowing like when somebody from out of town. So you like, you know, like when you in uh when you out here and a motherfucker from out of town come up, like what would be be some like identifiers that let y'all know like, oh yeah, he ain't from over here. Uh, like for young niggas from y young yeah. niggas that be from out of town, um. You can tell by sometimes by the way they dress. You feel me? You can and, and, and like most like young niggas out here. I ain't gonna say a lot of nigga young niggas out here getting money got the drip. You know what I'm saying? Pull up, fly shit and all that. But tourists from other places, you can tell a nigga might have on a bust down Cuban with the peas. Nigga might have on a watch or something like that. A nigga that's from LA not gonna come to the '60s with his bust down piece on, bust down Roly, Cartier, whatever. Nigga ain't gonna hop out that car like that. You know what I'm saying? Unless they got an invitation, but tourists feel like it's a tourist spot, so we can tell by just by their appearance. By their, by their appearance, you feel me? If a nigga fly as a motherfucker got on jury and all that, we like Cub probably not from out this way. Cub probably Cub probably a tourist. He coming to pay, come pay his respects to Nip. So on six, so that's how a nigga be telling the difference with them. Like, oh, he flies a motherfucker. He might he might have on all designer. He might have on some dope hype B shit. You feel me? We like, all right, that ain't one of the homies in. No op ain't gonna come over here dressed like that for sure. So that's yeah. a tourist, you feel me? So I'm saying log in with Brian Hurst baby, man. Uh -huh. Brian Hurst baby gonna make sure you make it through this motherfucker smooth if if you eligible. If you not no op or no weirdo on the hood, you can come over here and a nigga gonna oh, welcome you with open arms. If you're not an op or no weirdo and you don't got bad intentions, if you just a regular motherfucker and you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's good. Okay. Let's go in the shoe store. Alright, for sure.